And finally, a little levity to wrap up the work week, courtesy of our late night friends. Yeah, we've been covering Ebola and so many other sobering stories this week. Thank you to Kimmel, Fallon, and the rest of the gang for making us smile. A recent study revealed that the reading level of presidential speeches has dropped significantly over the past 200 years. Or as Americans put it, why dat? <laughs> young fellow who apparently loves Bruno Mars was up in a tree waving a broom and singing one of Bruno Mars' songs. And he got an important lesson about electrical engineering and physics. I I <laughs> I don't know if anyone from the NFL is watching, but can we please make that the Super Bowl halftime show this year? The New York Giants have reportedly been debriefed about Ebola in preparation for their trip to Dallas to play the Cowboys this weekend. <laughs> Though, if this game is anything like last week, I wouldn't worry about the Giants catching anything. This Halloween, authorities in Colorado are warning families to watch out for marijuana-infused candy. <laughs> yeah, teenagers in Colorado said, don't worry, not only are we watching out for it, we're only going to houses that have it. The Obama administration announced the 140 people selected from across the country to participate in the fall White House internship program. And unlike the White House, the internship program is very hard to get into. In addition to Friends, Netflix is also bringing back the popular kids show Care Bears. Oh. Yeah. But I think with all the excitement, Netflix accidentally mixed the two together. I don't know. So take a look at this. It was all, once a cheater, always a cheater. We were on the break! We are so over. Fine by me! It's nice to smile. I love the Care Bears.